think about controlling foul broods or chalk brood, for example, it's two, two different things really, but they, they're common in the hive and they both have, uh, there's, there's common seasonality when it comes to both. We usually see chalk brood and European foul brood, if we're going to see them in the springtime, usually early spring when it's wet and the bees are trying to grow is usually when we see those two brood issues arise. Chalk brood is going to typically look like kind of like little pieces of chalk stuck in the hive. I mean, the, the pupa kind of turn, larva and pupa kind of turn into mummies. Um, and they're, they're, you'll often see the mummies on the bottom board of the hive. That's kind of the telltale sign. If you see these little mummified chalk looking brood littering the bottom board or in front of the hive, that's kind of the, the, the most surefire way to diagnose chalk brood. If you're seeing that, there's a lot of different theories on how to control it. If there's a lot of moisture in the hive, so if there's water standing on your bottom board, that can contribute to it. Genetics can be a part of it. So your hive may need to be requeened if it's a really old queen in your hive. Feeding helps, feeding probiotics can help. And there's a lot of theories that say bananas help. So slicing a banana in half and smushing it on the top bars and letting the bees eat it. Um, I'm not gonna say it works for sure or not, but there's a lot of people that say it does. When it comes to European fowl brood, that's common as well. And that affects the larval stage. And you're gonna see your larva, instead of being that beautiful, pearly, shiny white, they're gonna be kind of yellow. They're gonna be a little twisted. Your larva is just gonna look sick. And it's not gonna be every larva. It's just gonna be some, some frames may be worse than others. And the best way to control that, again, is probiotics. There are antibiotics you can give your bees, Thailand or Tylosin um, or Teramycin. Don't really recommend those. It's not great to give antibiotics to bees. So I typically go for the probiotics and feeding your bees, maybe giving them some pollen substitute, adding in a frame of bees and brood from a different hive can help to boost their strength and, and time. You know, oftentimes once that hive gets out of the spring season, they're gonna recover from that European fowl brood as well. So, you know, in general, a good strong hive helps with both of those conditions. So if you have a frame that's you know, got a tremendous amount of chalk brood in it or a tremendous amount, you know, the majority of the larva or pupa are infected. You can pull that frame out and burn it um, or freeze it. And you can uh, give them a fresh frame of brood and bees from a different hive and that can help. But I would only really go to that extreme if the entire frame is, you know, if the majority of that brood is infected, which is pretty rare to see. But in general, feed, requeen if it's an old queen, give them some probiotics, and make sure there's no water standing in the hive, add some bees and brood, and then wait till summer.